Hi everybody, this is Cassie, and I'm making this video to help with implication, as in P implies Q. There was one thing that was kind of troubling me, and I just thought of a different way to think about it. I figured if I share it with you guys, maybe it would help you as well. So here we have the table that just tells us which situations are true and which ones are false. The first two, those came pretty naturally to me. True implies true is true. True implies false is false. But this third one is the one that was troubling me. False implies true is true. So this is just a rule that we have to go by. But just having that, it was hard to memorize because it didn't come naturally to me. So I'm a computer science major, so I decided to come up with a way that fits my way of thinking to memorize this. So think of it as if we have a function, imply. If x is true, or I used x and y instead of p and q, if it's true, then we're going to go into this other if statement. If y is also true, let's return true, and if it's not, return false. In the case that x or p is not true, if it's false, then we're always just going to exit out of our function and return true. So I'm sorry if this doesn't make any sense to you if you're not a programmer, but if you are, maybe this will be an easier way for you to memorize this table. Okay, thanks.